welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I am about to set up my daughter who is for a little preschool area within our new homeschool room. I am very excited about this because as you guys can see, I am hiding, <laughs> I am hiding all of the preschool things right here. It is like, <laughs> it's like a big mess right now, you guys within my homeschool room. My daughter, who is four, her name is Leia. She has shown a really big interest within learning in our homeschool days. Um, I know she's not at the point where she's ready for like official um, training and learning and a whole bunch of book work and all the things, but I really find that I want to be more intentional with one-on-one -on -one time and I want her to feel like it's special. So I went ahead and I bought a bookshelf from um, Walmart. It was only $22. It's just a simple three-tier bookshelf and I'm gonna save you guys like the <laughs> footage and the hassle of actually watching me build this and put it together. I already have it assembled and put together and I'm just about to show you guys all of the preschool items that she has been using and what we have been loving. Um, I made a preschool video resources video um, earlier this year showing you guys all the resources that I bought for her. However, out of all of that stuff, I'm not even using half of it. So I'm going to show you guys the staples and the things that we are using and loving. And I'm going to show you guys me setting up her new preschool area in our homeschool room. <laughs> about it so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to actually show you guys all of the resources that I actually use for Leia. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed and it's kind of cringy for me to look back at that video because I showed so many things and um, <laughs> hopefully uh, if you've seen that video I hope it didn't overwhelm you. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys like I said what we actually use. So the first resource that I use for my daughter Leia is books. I have this big old basket right here. I normally keep this basket downstairs um, because that's where we do most of our reading at is books. Um, my daughter Leia, she actually has a speech delay. And the first thing the speech therapist told me to start doing when we initially started speech therapy when she was two was to start reading to her. And ever since then, I feel like that habit has just formed in my home. And that's like all we do all day long. She loves to read. She loves for me to put on um, books where other people do read aloud, especially on YouTube, you guys. Um, they have different books. You just type in the book you want your kids to listen to and someone else will read the book to them. And my daughter, she definitely loves that uh, when I put on YouTube with um, people reading aloud books to her as well. But I have right here our top two like learning books which is the one, two, three count with me number book. And this is an interactive book where they have the part for the finger tracing and they have the lift the flaps. 
So these two books right here, the ABCs and the one, two, three books from Tiger Tales have definitely been uh, just the primary way that I have taught my daughter her numbers and I mean her numbers and her letters. So um, these two are like our main books we use um, along with books, you guys, as you've seen my daughter, she loves puzzles. This ABC puzzle, you guys was so cheap. I think I got this set with the puzzles and the numbers together. And what I use with these puzzles is, is that I taught my daughter all of her alphabet just with this puzzle right here. And um, she loved it. And right now we still are working on letters, but we're actually working on letter sounds too. So this is really a good way to introduce your kids into learning the alphabet that it's really interactive and fun. And it's like a puzzle, it's jigsaw. You can just start off with maybe a few letters at a time. What I like to do is I like to empty out some of these baskets that I have right here and put all of the letters in and then let her put back the whole alphabet. And she really loves when I do that. So right now, this area is really just for cleanly purposes, for everything to be put away and displayed for her. But as far as me setting up the activity, this is like not where she would just go and start the activity. I don't have it set up in that form, which I honestly probably should do it that way. But um, for right now, I just have it right here just like this. I wanna show you guys another puzzle that I love, which is this Melissa and Doug puzzle, you guys. And <laughs> it has definitely had a lot of love to it. And one thing I can say is this puzzle taught my daughter her shapes and her colors. And this little puzzle was only $6. I didn't have to get any special curriculum or have her do a whole bunch of sheets and pages. This is how I taught her her shapes and her colors. And it was just simple as this $6 puzzle. I think I found this one at the thrift store. So um, yeah, um, I feel like when it comes to preschool and preschool learning, the more hands on the better and the more they stay enthusiastic about learning in school. Uh, this age really is supposed to still be all about fun. Um, like I said, my daughter, she's three, she will be four. Um, in March and I'm actually sure why I'm already saying she's four but yeah she will be four in March so she's about three and a half and um yeah so again I have her um shapes puzzle here and I have the numbers puzzle right here underneath of it now to teach my daughter as far as like letter sounds I actually watched a really good video from JDA and she just shows how all you have to do is just get some high contrast cards to teach your children their um, letter sounds. And you guys, all I do is I just go through each of these letter sounds. And I think we just started off doing like the first few sounds and now she knows all of her alphabet sounds just by me, you know, pointing to the letter, not saying its name, but just saying, ah, buh. So she can um, be able to know when we use these flashcards, we're doing letter sounds. I have them in lowercase letters um, because uh, in her video, she explained how when you're reading, especially in the beginning, you're going to see the letters in lowercase more than uppercase. And it's really important for your child to know those letter sounds, seeing it in the lowercase form. So again, I taught her her um, letter names by using this puzzle and then her letter sounds. All we used was these simple cards. I printed off online and I laminated them and I put them on this little key ring right here from the Dollar Tree. So this right here was pretty much completely free. Um, all the resources was online. I already had all this stuff at home and this is how simple it was to teach my daughter all of her letter sounds. So I love this um, idea from JDH channel. I will link the video down below because she did such a beautiful job explaining how to start off uh, phonetically teaching your children their letter sounds and then how you can build upon that to teach them the basis of reading. So um, I really enjoyed watching that video of her. So um, it definitely worked. My daughter learned all of her letter sounds in like three weeks. So I'm very excited. Now, another thing that I have to do um, to teach her her alphabet is this alphabet book, which is a printable from JDA, again, from her uh, Teachers Pay Teachers site. And in this book right here, pretty much you just uh, go through it and you'll say A, A, and then A, Ant, A, Alligator, A, Apple, A. Ants. It's for them to be able to recognize that A can, or a lot of things start with the letter A, and for them to be able to hear that letter sound. 
And what I do is I have these little pointer sticks and my daughter, when she plays this game with me, she'll, I'll say, Leia, point to the alligator and she'll point to the alligator. Ah alligator so it's just um reinforcing that letter sound and everything like that and she has really been enjoying these uh this printable you guys i'm not too sure i have to put the price down below but it was so affordable and all i did was i just laminated each one of the pages and we don't go through all of them in one day i just pick like maybe four sheets to go through each day so she can recognize each one of the pictures and she's really been enjoying this and this like i said um all together these activities that i have on her little learning shelf right now it only takes me about 15 minutes to go through and pick out uh, the main specific activities that we're going to be doing so this is just really how simple preschool has been for me has just been doing some hands-on activities um reading and um yeah another thing too is that my daughter she loves flashcards so i have all of these flashcards we don't do them every day but um we do them sometimes these are just our animal flashcards and opposites flashcards that i got from the target dollar spot Another thing that I do have right here is some sight words. Since my daughter is in speech, she actually has been learning sight words through speech, um, really just to help her speak. Uh, when the speech therapist does our speech therapy sessions virtually, she has the words across the screen and we're talking about them. And just for speech, we actually have been doing some action sight words like go, see, run. So those are some things that we are actually doing really a part of speech, not necessarily uh, for her reading skills. But I have noticed that she has actually been able to pick up a few sight words. Um, my goal is to teach her how to read phonetically, but because of speech and because of how it's kind of going with that, she does know a couple of sight words too, which honestly, I think it's okay. So I have my flashcards here. I have more flashcards in this section. We really don't use these flashcards, but I just have them here just because it's another fun way that I can pull out the card and she could do another activity where she sees the letter E and then she'll have to match it with the puzzle E. And I can put these out on the floor and it's like another fun game she can play that was really, really inexpensive. Again, these cards right here, I know I didn't pay more than a buck for them and I already had these puzzle pieces here. So that's just like another fun activity that I do to play with uh, Leia, her pointer stick. So um, yeah. Now one thing I do want to start teaching Leia is calendar skills um, and getting her in the rhythm of learning the days of the week and the months of the year and things like that. And how I plan on teaching her that is using my um, Melissa and Doug calendar right here that I have. We haven't dabbled into it just yet. So I'm really excited to uh, kind of um, go there as far as calendar skills with her. I know this is really like a pre-K skill. She's probably not going to really master it probably up until kindergarten. But I still think that it's fun to sing the days of the week song, the month of the year, introduce her the seasons and different things like that. So this is something that will be our working progress for her little preschool area but for the most part we're just going to mainly do the activities that i talked about before so um yeah i'm really excited about that and as you guys seen i have some counters right here so what i do with these uh counters or these um i guess i could say like manipulatives is I will have a flash card on the floor with like the number one, the number two, and then she will have to put the corresponding two pieces or one pieces uh, using her little manipulatives. And that's like another fun game that I play with her completely free. I can just print off that stuff off of line. It's nothing that's like <laughs> just expensive and just over the top. Everything is really, like I said, hands on um, learning. Now, as far as curriculum goes, you guys, I do love one curriculum and I have been using this curriculum for a while now and I can't <laughs> sing its praises enough. And this one right here is created by Rachel from Seven and All and it is purely preschool. Right now, we're actually doing the purely preschool fall unit and my daughter has been <laughs> loving it. Uh, we studied pumpkins and then we went to the pumpkin patch. We talked about apples and she had got a really kick out of doing the apple study and that one was really fun. Um, this week, we're actually going to start talking about leaves because I'm in Georgia and you guys, our leaves are finally falling off the trees. I'm finally able to wear my fall weather, <laughs> my fall clothes because it just got cool here in Georgia. So um, I'm really excited for us to start our next unit within the purely preschool which is leaves so um this is like the only 
formal curriculum that I am using for her, but it's not really, uh, I should say like a seat work type of curriculum. Uh, for the most part, it's literature based. So we're reading the books that goes along with the unit. We're singing the songs, we're doing the art projects, we're doing the hands-on activity and uh, that's it. So, okay, you guys, now I want to show you like all the things that I have for like Leia for fine motor skills. Now that I finished showing you like all of the hands-on learning resources that I use for her. So these things right here, we typically do in the morning. And again, I have my purely preschool right here. Right here is Leia's little um, coloring box or pencil box. I have her crayons, you guys. She graduated to the bigger crayons when we first started off our school year. She was still using the triangular crayons, but now her pencil grip has gotten really, really good. So here goes Leia's big pencil that she uses. And I have her scissors. I print off a lot of like those cut and paste exercises for her to do and she loves them. Um, a, my two favorite websites you guys that I love to go on to to find my like uh, preschool fun type of like printable worksheets is totschooling.net and this reading mama are my two favorite uh, websites for that. But this is her pencil box that she uses in the mornings. Um, and then this is her big art pad, you guys. I got this art pad from the Dollar Tree. I typically have to pick up one like every month or so. I have to go back to Dollar Tree and get another one. But I just let her go at it. She scribbles on it. And sometimes I doodle different things on here with her as well, like a house. And uh, she'll color it in. But I just kind of like let her go. Oh, here goes one where I drew a house. And then I wrote her name at the top. So... I just let her have fun with this art pad, like to her heart's content. Um, I think she just likes sitting at the table with my daughter, Brielle, who is in fourth grade. She just likes to be a part of our homeschool day. So she has an art pad and also my one-year-old has an art pad, Alana. I use the bigger chunky crayons in her uh, crayon box that Alana uses. And she's starting to get the hang of um, doing things and stuff like that. Uh, she's not required to do it, of course, but because she sees everyone sitting at the table, I make sure Alana, my one-year-old, has one as well, but she doesn't really do much. <laughs> so for Leia, as far as like her letter tracing, I got this book, you guys, last year. I think I was a little bit too excited when she turned two, but she's just now starting to use this book right here this big letter tracing book, what I did was I took out the pages that I wanted to and I went ahead and I laminated all of the um, alphabet. So in our purely preschool, when she has a letter for that unit, I pull out the letter so she can learn how to um, trace it. And because Leia knows her numbers and the order of numbers, she follows the one and the two and she, she's doing really, really good with this um, this method of how they're teaching her how to like trace her letters and it's so cute hearing her say one two three and she's as she's following with her dry erase marker so i really love this big letter tracing book it has all the different letters so it starts off really really big then it has like the three and it has the numbers really big uppercase and lowercase but i just only laminated the three pages just because i want to give her more practice and um yeah, so I really love this book right here, you guys. So along with her, um, I guess, uh, learning her letters and learning how to do like early tracing and things like that, I have her writing her name. I got this printable right here. It was an edible document that was completely free on totschooling.net. I'm going to try my best to um, link everything that I can below for you guys. Um, but I just uh, used the document to write Leia's first name and she just practices writing her first name. She does it a few times. She loves doing this. And every time after she finishes, it's like a big thing. Good job, Leia, you wrote your name. Even though sometimes it's not all perfect, it's kind of crooked. It's just her attempting to uh, learn how to write her name. And I love that. So something new that I recently added, I'm talking about, we only did this for like maybe a week, you guys, was these printables from JD's A Teachers Pay Teachers. Again, I love her website, you guys. She is really, really good when it comes to early childhood education. So she created some preschool workbooks and she has a early reading literacy book, a early writing and an early math. 
So I went ahead and got that whole bundle on Teachers Pay Teachers for $25. I just ordered the PDF file so I can reprint the sheets as much as I want to. And also too, I can use them again for Alana. So I figured buying the PDF download was I would have more bang for my buck. <laughs> and so far, these worksheets um, have been really proven just that. I like that it's just regular black and white. It's high contrast. My daughter loves coloring. So she's not intimidated when she sees something black and white. She finds that to be an opportunity for her to just color everything in and um, let her imagination go. So it's not colorful at all. It's just really simple. I like that these don't require that much fine motor skills. It's really just making lines, coloring in the dots. And this is really right where Leia is at right now. I have a worksheet in here I want to show you guys that Leia did. You guys, this is so stinking cute. And I did not tell her to color coordinate these based off of the fruits on this page. She just did that on her own, which I thought was so stinking cute. So she had to correspond the amount of the apple to the number one and we counted each one of them and she drew a line i feel like for her first time really doing formal worksheets she did a really really good job other than like coloring and cutting and pasting this is was like her first time really doing like an exercise like this that really had her thinking and i'm really surprised i mean leia's three and a half and she's really doing good so i'm very excited to continue uh, introducing uh, little worksheets with her. I think my goal is to possibly do like maybe one worksheet a day, um, one either in her numbers um, bundle or the reading literacy bundle because I think that she will really enjoy uh, doing this. And also too, this is going to be a good introduction to like pre-K and like seat work and things like that. So these JDA printables have been amazing. One last thing I forgot to show you guys was Leia's speech cards. These are some more speech cards that I use for Leia. These right here goes over verbs. Again, verbs is really where Leia is lacking in her speech. Other than that, Leia does know a lot of nouns and she's doing really awesome. She just needs to uh, continue to build up her phrases. She's doing like three of the four word phrases, but she's continuously building up those sentences. So, um, yeah, so this is another activity that I do alongside with speech. Um, this right here just has like a really beautiful picture and it says like fishing, what they're doing on the back. And my daughter, she loves these. I mean, look how beautiful these pictures of her. This is her blowing and we talk about, say, Leia, what's the girl doing? And she'll, the first thing Leia knew, used to say when we started these was bubbles, but now she actually says blowing bubbles. And We've only been doing these for a little while and uh, she's been doing so good with these. Like, look, they're cooking in the kitchen. This is Leia's favorite one with the little boy getting dressed. She, The first time she said, oh, he's wearing pajamas. And I said, no, Leia, he's getting dressed. He's dressing. And uh, this is another one that she liked to of the little girl writing. The first thing she said was like, oh, mommy, she's coloring. I said, no, she's actually writing. But coloring writing, I give it to her. I say, good job, Leia. But um, these are just some other prompts and things that I do along with Leia for speech therapy. Okay, you guys, I really hope you enjoy watching me set up my new preschool area within my homeschool room. I am so excited about this area because I feel like it's gonna make me be more intentional with doing things and doing activities with my daughter, Leia. She has really been enjoying all the hands-on learning that we have been doing so far. And I know this is just gonna take us up to the next level as far as her education and her really learning within our new homeschool. So you guys, I really hope today's video inspired you today just to know how simple you can do preschool at home. Um, I really hope you can take away some tips and some things that I have learned along the way. So as always, you guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.